Note, the following video depicts a specific configuration of the notebook. The same removal and replacement procedures apply to all configurations of the notebook. Before you begin, remove the base enclosure, battery, wireless module, solid state drive, and fan. Removal. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the audio board ZIF connector and disconnect the audio board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the right speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard backlight ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard backlight ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the keyboard ZIF connector and disconnect the keyboard ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the touchpad board ZIF connector and disconnect the touchpad board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the card reader board ZIF connector and disconnect the card reader board ribbon cable from the system board. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Disconnect the left speaker cable from its connector on the system board. Disconnect the power connector cable from its connector on the system board. Using minimal force, lift the locking bar up on the display panel ZIF connector and disconnect the display panel ribbon cable from the system board. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Remove the 3.5 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Remove the 2 mm P0 Phillips broad head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Carefully lift the system board off of the alignment pins on the top cover and remove. Replacement Note, before installing a system board, remove the following from the old system board and install on the new system board. Heat sink. Important, make careful note of the placement of the mylar shielding on the old system board and place a new strip of mylar shielding in the same position on the new system board. Place the system board onto the alignment pins on the top cover. Caution, to avoid damage, Ensure that the display panel, power connector, left speaker, card reader board ribbon, touchpad board ribbon, keyboard ribbon, keyboard backlight ribbon, right speaker, and audio board ribbon cables are free from being pinched between the system board and top cover. Replace the 2 mm P0 Phillips broadhead screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Replace the 3.5 mm P0 Phillips head screw that secures the system board to the top cover. Insert the display panel ribbon cable into the display panel ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution, use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the power connector cable into its connector on the system board. Connect the left speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the card reader board ribbon cable into the card reader board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution. Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. 
Insert the touchpad board ribbon cable into the touchpad board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard ribbon cable into the keyboard ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Insert the keyboard backlight ribbon cable into the keyboard backlight ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Connect the right speaker cable into its connector on the system board. Insert the audio board ribbon cable into the audio board ZIF connector on the system board and press the locking bar down to lock the cable into place. Caution! Use care to prevent damaging the ZIF connector and ribbon cable. Important! After system board replacement, be sure to complete post-installation tasks as required that may include verifying functionality of the notebook, updating the BIOS, updating DMI and other settings, injecting Microsoft Windows 8 digital product keys.